Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and recently I decided to have a look at a few Flat Earth channels because there's something that I'm thinking of doing in the future. And I had a look at Nathan Oakley's channel, and something caught my eye. Now when Nathan Oakley goes after people like Thunderfoot or Simon Dan, I don't really care about that. However, the person that he did decide to go after this time is Ken Wheeler, someone who I've actually gone after myself. Now, even though Ken Wheeler believes that Earth is a globe, he is very wrong about a lot of things, but he makes himself seem intelligent by using fancy words. Take this paragraph, for example. The magnetic vortex architecture of dielectricity is counterspatial to magnetism. Protons are merely displaced particles in creating macro beads, like rubber. This concept must coexist with resultant acceleration and counterspace. Now that paragraph may seem like it's an intelligently put together paragraph by Ken Wheeler, but I can tell you for a fact that it's just complete nonsense. Nathan Oakley, on the other hand, is a flat earther who tries to change the definition of science to whatever is convenient for him to try and discredit his opponent's arguments. So the thing that I'm curious about is what exactly happens when these two types of wrong clash? Grab your popcorn because today we are going to find out. It should also be noted that I have not watched the video yet, so I have no idea what is coming up. Hey, Ken. Hey, buddy. Why are you punting this total horseshit? Do you not know which way steam goes, Ken? So 10 seconds in, and already I can tell that Nathan Oakley is going to be wrong here. Now that doesn't make Ken Wheeler right, just means that Nathan Oakley is wrong. My guess is that Nathan Oakley is going to make the galaxy-brained argument of, well, if gas go down go boom boom, why does steam go up then? Hmm? Your followers, who are being humiliated and berated by me, think it's all right when you're proven wrong. It's not all right, Ken. Well, Nathan, if that's the case, then maybe you should stop making so many wrong comments because you get proven wrong quite often. Nathan Oakley's the name. First one to tell you I can debunk this on screen you presented to your moron followers with a kettle, mate. So I know that Ken Wheeler can make some really bad arguments, but... Are they really as bad as Nathan Oakley is describing them to be? Ken Wheeler has led you down a path that has left you in a position where his diagram you claimed is something that I needed to see to understand this concept. So that diagram really doesn't seem to make all that much sense. It seems like it's trying to say that things that move towards each other are doing so because of acceleration and things that move away from each other are doing so because of a force. Now, Ken Wheeler seems to believe that forces and acceleration are completely different things. He says, in fact, that they're opposites. So that brings me to the question of what about magnets? Because if I put magnets close together, they can attract. But if I switch one around, then they repel each other. Where I had to tie you indefinitely to the bias you did and didn't claim simultaneously with your cognitive dissonance has a situation depicted where gas go down, go boom, boom. It's on screen still. So, does gas go down, go boom, boom? Yes, Nathan. Gas go down, go boom, boom, okay? I already answered this question, dude. I so told Ken's you wrong. Doesn't. So why do, you, why do you keep going on with it? So I told just you Ken's no. wrong, then. Your diagram's wrong. You're just looking at it wrong, bro. That's all. Oh, it's really my eyeball that falls. <laughs> oh I, I'm just looking at it wrong. Should have stand on my fucking head. There was a good response by Nathan, but the thing that Nathan is missing is that you standing on your head will help you understand it, but the best thing you got to do is look through a sort of hazy cloud, and then maybe the leprechaun appears and tells you what you're misunderstanding. So that when something's not going down, as per the diagram, it's then going up to counter the problem. That's normally what I do with diagrams when they don't make sense. I stand on my fucking head to make them make sense. But Nathan, have you tried drugs? Well, that sounded like an average day on the Nathan Oakley debate show. I had no idea what was just said by anyone there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not your fucking bro. I'm the man humiliating you and your guru. 
So Nathan, I think that AB Science has done a better job of humiliating Ken Wheeler than you have, bro. Don't assert the mass go down with gravity. There's a bias downward where I can debunk it with a kettle. So this seems to be where Nathan Oakley is wrong. But I do have a question. Does Ken Wheeler deny that buoyancy is a thing? You think you're smarter than Charles? Yeah, I am smarter than this fuckwit. I'm sorry, Nathan, but it's hard for you to say that you're smarter than someone when you are suffering severely from Riley Nodell. I can debunk you, you bald-headed twat, with a kettle. Do you hear me, Ken Wheeler, you fuckwit? Nathan Oakley debunked you with a kettle. So is this all we're going to get? Nathan Oakley just screaming the same thing over and over again whilst not making a point? Why did I expect anything more? Gas does not go down, go boom boom, as asserted by this bold moron with his line and arrow pointing down with mass beneath it. That's not correct. Not gravity. No bias down. Gas expands in all directions, all vectors. So Nathan, if gas does indeed expand in all directions, then why is there a pressure gradient as you go higher in elevation? No flat earther has managed to give me a satisfactory answer to that, so maybe you can be the first, but I doubt it. If that's what you wanted to assume, man. Uh, no, not an assumption. Here's the word mass with a downward arrow, created by a moron who asserts that that is the direction mass will travel. It's not. I can debunk it with a kettle. I may be wrong about this, but just because there's a down arrow on a diagram, that doesn't mean that things are going down. What, do you expect electricity to always make things go upwards? Now, gravity will result in things getting pulled towards the surface of the Earth. However, there's this thing called buoyancy, which will result in things getting pushed away from the surface of the Earth. Very simple. And when I ask you if gas go down, go boom, boom, you seem to start talking about incoherent dielectric acceleration quite a lot, rather than just saying no. So yeah, a key feature of the Ken Wheeler followers is that they will use more words than necessary because they want to sound smart. You need to give yourself an aneurysm, bro. Chill out. So not answering me, describing how I'm going to be affected medically. I mean, he does have a point. You might want to chill out every once in a while, rather than just shouting for attention. If, ga if gases went down, Nate? If gases went down. So kettle, oh gas, God. it goes down then. So just as things sounded like they were about to get interesting, Nathan had to come along and interrupt. Nathan, you really know how to make a conversation go nowhere, don't you? You think you'd smell your own fart if gas... Sorry, if gas goes down, why are you starting with an assumption that falls in line? Because, Nathan, it's simple logic that you yourself have used before. If A, therefore B. Not B, therefore not A. Are you disagreeing with your logic for the black swan now? I, I see how you look at things now. And, uh, I'm right, you understand how I don't understand, process. baby. It's all fucked up, bro. Let's hope that he eventually understands that talking to Nathan Oakley is pretty much pointless. Because talking to Nathan Oakley is pretty much pointless. Still waiting on an answer in regards to the directionality of steam, which has mass. I have no idea why the person who Nathan is arguing with hasn't just come out and said, Buoyancy, Nathan. Buoyancy is a thing that can counteract gravity because buoyancy is a thing that can counteract gravity. No one disagrees with that. What's the difference between steam and fog? Why are you asking me a question? It's a simple yes or no question. Nathan, yet again deflecting so he can attempt to dialogue tree the Ken Wheeler fan. There's things that you can actually criticize Ken Wheeler's fans for. You shouldn't have to dialogue tree them. Why is this so difficult to answer, Dicelo? This is an embarrassment. So it is an embarrassment, but it's an embarrassment for Nathan. Because as I said, there are things that you can criticize Ken Wheeler for. You shouldn't have to shout over people just to win this. I've answered you several times. You keep going on with the same bullshit. Yeah, no surprises there. That's pretty much Nathan Oakley in a nutshell. It goes, it goes in all directions. Oh, so not down? So Ken's wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it around all directions. How about that? So not down then, as per Ken Wheeler's diagram then. So Nathan, just so you're aware, make sure you're listening. All directions 
does include down. Now, obviously, there are issues with what the Ken Wheeler fan said. Like, as I've said before, buoyancy is something that would solve so many problems if he just decided to mention it. Turn it sideways, man. That might Turn it sideways? What? And then I won't be able to read it. It'll be indecipherable because it's sideways. Suddenly it's in a foreign language. Turn that jarhead of yours sideways. And... Oh, right. You're going to add hom me because I'm shitting all over your guru and his nonsense of down. Nathan, don't complain about being insulted when you are usually one of the first people to insult everyone else. Grow up, you snowflake. You calling me names too? What do you want? Yeah, fuckwit. Who thinks stuff goes down? You presented this as proof of your two-day-old argument that you lied about. Oh, so Nathan completely lacks any sense of self-awareness. That's good to know. Is that your claim? Yeah, that that diagram. I don't know what your claim that is. diagram no, wasn't. He doesn't even know that where. That diagram where wasn't even. Anymore, it wasn't showing direction in 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 the sense of like. So like it's not he's connected to. to it was, it was, it was to just showing stats. how things That's move. Toward, Sorry, it's not uh, showing direction, but it's chart. showing how things move. Well, according to this, mass um, moves down. It's on the diagram as moving down. You're going to double down on his shit you've just proven him wrong on. So I pointed this out earlier without having seen this part. I understand that sometimes arrows on a diagram do not reflect direction in real life. Did you not hear why I even gave you the diagram? Do you remember why I gave you the diagram? You, it wasn't because I was saying things were going downward. And it's, it's on his diagram, shit for brains. I am curious why he gave Nathan Oakley this diagram, but at the same time, I don't want to put myself through the hell of watching too much Nathan Oakley. I really don't want to torture myself like that. You know, we hear that from globe-believing fundies a lot. All fucked up when I say Earth should turn under a drone. Nah, it's just an effect that would be induced by Coriolis that you claim. Nathan, you need to learn that... Conservation of momentum is a thing. Also, if you want to try and support your claims, it would help you if you were to do actual calculations. So that was a shit show, and obviously there were bad arguments from both sides. Like, Nathan Oakley could have done a far better job than what he did. So could have the Ken Wheeler fan as well. All the Ken Wheeler fan really had to do was say buoyancy. Now, this would have caused Nathan Oakley to shout over him, but at least it would have been a point for him. So this has been a complete waste of time, but I'm still going to put this on YouTube because I had to suffer through this and I'm not going to let it be for nothing. But at the end of the day, both Nathan and Ken Wheeler are wrong. I can actually say with a high degree of certainty that Nathan doesn't believe the bullshit that he peddles. With Ken Wheeler, I'm not so certain, but I have my suspicions there. So... Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you somehow liked this video. I don't know why you would have. And make sure you ring the bell notification so that you actually get notified of when I post new videos. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. What Jesus, Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Jane Spade, Wolfie, Mori, The Friendly Antinatalist, Graymore Ghost, and Kid Vicious. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link right there. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. So I have a sneaking suspicion that Ken Wheeler fans won't make it this far into the video. The quote that I read you out from the start of the video from Ken Wheeler wasn't actually from Ken Wheeler. It was from a botanic that was trained from Ken Wheeler. So it's not something that Ken Wheeler actually said. It's just complete nonsense generated by AI.